my channel. Goodness, it seems like it has been forever since I have been able to make a video. I'm so, so sorry. Life has been insane, but I'm so happy to be back with all of my amazing friends. Um, yes, I am in the car, but don't worry. We are stationary. We are still at the homestead. We have not left yet, but today we are going to try and go to a flea market that is kind of in my area. It's about 40 minutes away. But let me tell you guys something. It's a little bowduck, okay? It's a little country. You don't find much. But I thought it'd be fun to try anyways. Um, I don't really have anything specifically that I'm looking for. We're just going to go and dig and see what we can find. Also, today's going to be very interesting because I am currently fostering this brand new, let me show you, this brand new baby. Isn't she cute? Now she still doesn't have a name. So if you have any name suggestions, please drop it in the comments. She's about nine days old. Um, a stray puppy had, well, stray dog, had seven puppies on my neighbor's porch. And she was being a very good mom to all of them. But this one, for some reason, she reject, rejected this one. And she was trying to... Um, unalive it which was not very nice of your mom to do no it was not um so my neighbor asked if i would help or if not help but if i would foster this baby and bottle feed her and take care of her for the next six weeks and how could i say no how could i say no oh she's hungry are you hungry let's see if she this is very unprofessional okay guys if you're new to my channel welcome i am not scripted and this is real life are you hungry? There we go. This is real life at the Withering Cottage, okay? I try to keep it as professional as I can, but real life always seems to just get in the way. But anyway, she's in a crate next to me that has a heating pad in it that I can plug into my car. Um, and I'm going to carry her around with me at um, the flea market. She's going to be my little shopping buddy to, for today. So again, if you have any name suggestions, please leave it in the comments. Because she really needs a name. I just haven't found the right one yet. But that is enough rambling. Oh, goodness. So without further ado, let's head to the flea market. Say, see you guys there. Bye-bye. <laughs> arrived at the flea market um i think we are in bremen georgia i'm pretty sure um i got little miss no name right here i don't know if you can see her where'd you go little miss no name here with me nice and toasty warm and we're gonna start with the outside part and see if we can't find any treasures an amazing vendor here and i was just telling him i said you don't belong here in the country you've got two nice of things look at this um this encased photo, oh, it's stunning. It's 165, but it is beautiful. And no, then look. it's 110. Oh, 110, I'm sorry. 110, and he's got all these beautiful Victorian photos. He's got the ivory painted photos. These three are ivory. Oh, all three and, of them. And then they're all signed. They're so beautiful. And then he's got such an amazing collection of jewelry over here as well. I love these brooches. Look at that one. It is gorgeous. Both of those are. What are the prices on these? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. No, I thought you were talking to somebody on my I'm phone. I'm talking to both y'all. Oh. Uh, I would do 20 on that. What about this one? Have to see oh, it's they, got a price. I got 48 on it. I'll do 30. These are beautiful. This one. These are all sterling snowflakes. That is, uh, I've got 42 on that. You've got just such beautiful things. That's gorgeous. That's very old. It's on porcelain. I have 85 on that. Painted porcelain. That's hand painted too. You just have such beautiful things. I saw, where, I saw another brooch I was looking at. Oh, this one. It's like snowflake one. There's 35 on there. They are so pretty. This one with the... And this is Dresden. Are you familiar with Dresden? I am. Look at 
that little sweet perfume mm -hmm. bottle. I had two different ones, but I sold the other one. So nice. Hello, my dears. Hi, babies. So many chickens. Are they chickens? I guess they're chickens. <laughs> Well, I didn't find much outside. His booth was amazing, but I need a little bit more meat on the bone. So now we're going to head on into this first building right here. Here is one of my favorite booths. Um, his prices are pretty high, but like, look how cute this is. It's $24 for the baby shoes in the box, but I love those. And then here's this face. Let's see. I bet it glows. Jewel and Drapery Northwood glass, $35 as is. Oh, I see the chip right there. But he has got some beautiful things. Here's a uranium glass ashtray. It's, is that, yeah, it's broken right there. But he's got some really fun things. I love this collection over here of these early Victorian salt and pepper shakers, but every time I've come, I see these prices. Now they are 25 to 50% off, but there are some really pretty ones here. Like, look at this one. It doesn't have its shaker, $50. It's really pretty, and I love these pink ones. Oh my gosh, look at this one with the bunnies. I'll have to see. If that's half off, I might get it because I really like that one. I wonder how you know. It is a single though. And then over here, he's got all of his glowy glass. Got a fridgy. I don't know. I will let you guys know if I find anything else. Give you guys a scan of all of the beautiful things. He's got such an assortment of different oh, if you like treasures. The old work, let me give you a couple Look of at videos. this one. In July in Marietta, they have so one of the biggest cute. shows in the Southeast. Our club puts it on. Oh, thank you. I'll give you a couple of those. Well, there you go if you're in the area. And I, I love think the, the colors. 60s. So this one's from a bunch of the stuff I got at the where I got these were from the 60s. So, so we got Niagara sure. Falls, the old barracks, Trenton, Little White House, and Florida. So some people are getting married, some forgetting that they are. <laughs> this little wall hang calendar from 1909. I'm gonna see how much that is too. Um, but yeah. This. Oh, that. Uh, how much is this? Isn't that cool? It is. It's eight bucks. It's so fun. Yeah, I had to get it. I got it. We were having a deal at our club for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. They wanted us to bring a card. Well, I brought a card and I brought that too. I love it. I just found these. These are super cool mid-century little panther planters. And they're only oh, $12 so dollars each. <laughs> that was in there and it was driving me crazy. <laughs> I felt it. But they're really oh, yeah. nice um, and super good condition too. So I think I'm going to grab these too. Okay, let me put them back here with the other stuff. But I've, Thank I, you. I've got some good wrapping stuff. I this. appreciate it. Thank you so much. Graphics on this. It's $12 shoe shine kit. Marbo Home Shine Wrap. I like this right here. Trailer, motel, home, school, barber, office, Cottage Grove <laughs> Avenue. Uh, I mean, the inside's not that interesting, but I love the, the outside of the box. I love the colors. I don't know, I'm tempted. I'm tempted, but I might hold off, but it's still really fun. That was pretty crazy. I did not plan very well for that. Um, I should have brought a wagon or something because my hands got full pretty quickly, especially carrying those large panther planters and then trying to hold the baby because she was fussy. So I didn't really get anything extra that you guys didn't see. I did, however, pick up this for Tiny Puppy, a new cage. It's bigger and better than the one she was in. So that was pretty good. But before we end the video, we are gonna go to two more, well, not more, we haven't been yet. 
we're gonna go to two thrift stores and they're really close so we're gonna see what we can find there since I didn't do too well at the flea market so come along if you'd like let's go continue our treasure hunt. this is a small little thrift store but I've done pretty good here in the past so I'm keeping an optimistic mind that we're gonna find some really cool things in the jewelry case I found this really pretty brooch to angel it's earlier and then look at this one very pretty and then I love this mother of pearl and abalone shell pendant with the cross Ooh. so I'm gonna get those three not a bad start such a beautiful lamp I believe that the shade is Fenton and it is custard glass so it does fluoresce it's hand painted it's beautiful it's $50 which I really don't want to spend 50 on it um I don't know if it works and I don't see a signature, but it is beautiful. It looks like it was originally, I don't know, more or less and then they put another sticker over it, but it's beautiful. But I might see if they can do a little less on it, um, but that's really pretty. I like this single bookend. It's just a single. She needs to be cleaned up, he or she, but I really like it. Made in Japan, $1.97, so I'm going to get this in the cart with the puppy you go and then I found this dish too I was hoping that it would glow but it didn't but it's still really pretty it's $9.97 um, I should probably grab it but without it glowing I don't know I might hold off but then they've got this beautiful set right here and I love this ironstone plate there's not a price on it but I might see how much it is because that's really pretty. So, yeah. This right here is stunning. It's got some, if it didn't have damage on it, I would definitely get it. Um, it's got some pretty significant damage right there. But, oh, it's gorgeous. Mellow. I wonder if I still not ought to get it for me. Look at all that detail on it. And it's big. So I'm thinking about that. That's really pretty. And then we have all these angels over here having a party. Where's the roof? Whoop, whoop. But yeah, I'm thinking about that. But I just wish, see, I don't mind the damage, but for resale. But I'm still thinking, do I need it? The answer is no. But the question is, do I want it? And that answer is yes. So I have to ponder. Westmoreland swung vase in the amber. That's cute. This is kind of where they put what they think is like the better stuff. I don't always agree, but I don't always disagree. Here's a big Madonna. She's really pretty. $5.97. I might get her. She's pretty. And she's large too, so she's nice. Oh my gosh, look at this. $9.97. We're gonna get that for sure. That's a really good deal. And the spice set, and I hardly ever find these complete. So I'm really happy about that. Okay, I'll put you down there. I like that. Sorry, I know I'm moving quickly. I didn't mean to jerk you guys around like that. Hello, handsome. See what's over here. We've got a bedpan for your bedpan needs. These make fun planters. They actually do. I wonder, do those go with the platter that I picked up earlier? We'll have to check. I'm gonna go get the platter and see if those go. They do go, it's the same pattern. Um, these are a little whiter than look set. Then that's why it wasn't priced. It's the set for $5. I'm gonna get that too. I'm gonna need another card. I love that. Um, anything else I need? Anything down there? Here's a vintage mobile, $24. Ugh, but that's cute though. All right, I'm gonna put this in the cart and then I'll be back. Here is everything that I am getting. It's very all me, but I'm happy. I think we did pretty good. We did really good in there. Um, That lamp actually ended up being Fenton. It was signed on the inside lip, which why did I not think to look there? I should have, but 
they did give it to me for 40 so I ended up buying the lamp um I think it's gonna look amazing with a black light like a black light light bulb in it so I'm really excited that was a good find um we're gonna go to one more place and then we're gonna end the video for today and this next place is one of my favorites so Let's head there now and go see what we can find. We're at our last stop of the day. This is one of my all-time favorite junk stores and look what they have hanging outside. It's a little tattered, but isn't that amazing? It's huge. It's so pretty. I have no idea how much it is. It's really dirty, but I really like that. So let's head in here, see if we can find any vintage goodness. Love this store. I think they buy storage units, um, but they just have the best collection of things. Let's see, this is beautiful. Two ninety nine. I'm gonna get that for sure, for sure. And they have. I gotta set this down. Put it right there. Um, they also have this green glass basket. $14.99. The aisles are very narrow, but look at all this stuff. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm 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 busy gazing. I, I just okay, I will come back when I find something to show you. Oh my goodness, I love these shoes. I have, let's see, who makes them? icon i don't think they're old well you know they might be but these would look so cute with my overalls that i'm wearing i wonder if they're my size made in the usa i'm gonna have to try these on Let's see what does the back say uh oh does that say size six that's definitely not my size but i'm gonna try them on real quick a little too small. I wish that they fit better because they are so cool. They actually have pretty good resale value, but um, I'm going to leave them here for someone else to find them because those are just awesome. So let's continue on the treasure hunt. And another Mary, and this one is left in. A left in planner for $6.99. She's in really good condition. I don't think she was ever used. So I'm going to pick her up too. I think she's really nice. There's just so much stuff to look at. <laughs> I'm a little junk drunk, to be honest. This is a pretty little box right here. Stone box. Made in India. $2.99. I like it, but I'm not so sold on that. There's just stuff everywhere. religious necklace more necklaces up here this one's cute the little envelope I don't think it's old but hmm. this haunts of Longfellow at $1.99 the old house of Cambridge this is probably early 1900s let's see is that copyright date no but this is beautiful, so I'm gonna get this for sure. And then there's a bunch of old books in here. They're so hard to show when handed. That right there, that was a really good find. Um, the Perfect Tribute, Abraham Lincoln. I love this. See, look, let me scan so you can see the amount of my overwhelmness. Is this not like the best junk store ever? Look, I see right here Amberina Bell. It's probably Fenton. Hand painted by. <laughs> yep, there's the Fenton mark on the inside. No, it no longer has its clanger, but that is Amberina, so it should fluoresce under a black light. Oh, and look at those are so sweet. The little pink bud faces. 
that one is super dirty. Those are cute. Yep. All right. I know I'm not doing the best job of filming because my eyes are scanning and then my hand is just following after. There's an owl. It's modern. This for me, it is 1980, but I love the stained glass look of it. It's got all these original old photos in it. I'm going to put some Victorian ephemera in here. And I think it will look so cool. I love the pink and the white and the gold together. So I'm going to get that for me. And we're in the, like the crafting section. Um, there's just so much to see. <laughs> Lots of crafting paper and beads and jewelry hardware so organized too but yeah this store just goes on and on and on and on and on i love this little old baby feeder but it's 9.99 um baby feeders don't do that good for me but that is a really really cute one and then over here i see this old paperweight for 4.99 i'm gonna get that little white house warm springs gonna grab that for sure oh there's a crying baby what's in this basket some dream catchers some big ones we might have to look at those too there's some of the dream catchers this one's really nice um this is i think one of the older ones in there there are some older ones and then there are also some newer ones this one is older i don't know about that one but there's a bunch of different ones in here. There's this one. So I think for $9.99, I'm going to grab the bag. I've not sold dream catchers before, but these are pretty cool. So I'm going to grab this too. I found this, the white horse. I don't know what would have been in it. It's definitely older, um, but I just love the the look of it. It's $5.99, so I'm going to get that. And then look at this old medical set. Now it is $5.99, but I'm gonna use it to display some of my babies. It's a glass front. Um, when I say babies, I mean my like little ceramic dolls and stuff. It's a glass front and it's in a chippy box. So I'm gonna take all that out and just use the box for a display. But I love that. I love these cases. There's always such good stuff in here, but look who I see. Hi, Mr. Santa Man. He's got an indented face, $89.99. He's cool, but definitely can't do that. There's this little bottle. Toilet. I like the color. I wonder if that glows. Let's see. It's got a crack right there, but I still want to see if it glows. Nope, it doesn't glow. If it wasn't cracked, I'd probably get it. Hi. And then there's these little tins. Aspirin. Focus. And we've got Fast Pain Relief. So many fun things. See a little jadeite cup right there. Oh, and I love, don't worry, they told me I could open it, I asked. I love this girl. Now, I remember it being expensive from the last time I was here, but look at this. $35.99, but isn't she fun? And then this little slack glass piece. $4.99, that's not bad. They also have that slack glass planter back there. These shelves here are just crammed. There's a really early teddy bear back there. Wow, so much to see. I did find this little guy. Now he's a little disheveled, not in the best condition. He's $4.99, he's a dream pet, but I still really like him, so I'm gonna grab him. Um, goodness, 
I'm nervous to move. I don't want to break anything. What is this? An old wind up bunny. $5.99. That would have been cute for Easter. Oh, I'm going to move out of here now. This whole cabinet makes me super nervous. I just wanted to give you guys a scan of all the fun things they have here. Now, I want to get that, but you can see the cabinet is eh, so I got to move some stuff around. And look at the Red Riding Hood stuff. All right, so I'm going to do some moving here, and then we'll look at that. So here is that Victorian tin type. $29.99. I think that's a really good deal, so I'm gonna get that. And then also, in that same case, I found this. It's a beautiful hand-carved wooden box. And then on the inside, it's got a provenance. It says, Granny Beckett's Snuff Box. And I think this may be some kind of bone or antler. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna get both of those too. I did really good there, per usual. Um, I did want to apologize. I know I was shaky in a lot of that video. Are you guys like me at all where you'll be out thrifting and junking all day and you just forget to eat because you're like addicted to the hunt of the junk? Or is that just me? It's probably just me. But I promise next video I will be sure to eat so I'm not shaking so much. But I loaded up the back of my car at that store. Really, really happy. And thank you guys if you hung out with me this entire day. You are troopers. So thank you once again for joining me at the Withering Cottage. Bye, guys.